start with these town hall meetings, including the one the president had today in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. William Kostrick's a protester who came to the town hall meeting today with a gun. Mr. Kostrick, why did you come to the president's town meeting today? Uh, well, Chris, first I'd like to uh, no, correct. No, why did you come to the meeting? Uh, I came to the meeting to be heard. And what did you want to say? Uh, I wanted people to remember uh, the rights that we have and how quickly we're losing them in this country. And what rights are we losing that you wanted to talk about the meeting today at the town meeting on health care? Uh, well, uh, there, are, there are a litany of them. Um, it doesn't uh, uh, take a genius to see we're traveling down a road at breakneck speed that's towards tyranny away from liberty, and that has uh, much to do with excessive taxation. Um, one party wants to uh, take our money and bail out corporations. The other one wants to take our money and, and uh, bail out welfare cases. Uh, neither party wants to listen to the people who believe that they own their property and what we earn is ours. Who did you vote for last November, sir? Do you mind telling me? You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, Ron Paul. Okay, you asked voted for Ron Paul. What do you think of uh, President Obama? Um, I think he's a great speaker. Um, I'm surprised that he calls himself a constitutional scholar. Do you have any problems with his legitimacy as president? Um, I don't. You don't, no. you, you don't. You're not part of the birther movement or anything like that. You uh, don't have a question about whether he was born an American. Um, I've, I've read the material. I, I don't really know anything about that. Wait a minute. Where are you on that issue? Where are you on the issue of whether he's a legitimate president of the United States? Do you believe he is or you do believe he isn't? Well, as I say, I haven't done any of the research uh, into it to uh, be able to make any claims on that. I mean, that's that's for lawyers and other people to So decide. you don't claim you're not making any claim that he's not a citizen. I am not making that claim. OK, let's ask about the, the, the presidency and what he's trying to do with health care. You right. brought a loaded gun. Was your gun loaded today? Uh, wow. Who would be silly enough to carry an unloaded firearm? I'm only asking. You're answering the questions. Who's yelling now? OK, that's on the tape. Why did you bring a loaded gun to a public meeting? Well, here in New Hampshire, uh, I know is, the law. You can okay. chew gum at church. You can do it. You can ride in on a pogo stick. There's a lot right. of things you're legally allowed to do. Why did you bring a gun to a meeting with the president of the United States, given the violent history of this country with regard to presidents and assassinations? Why did you bring a gun to a public event with the president? Well, you know the history of this country. If you love this country, you know its history. Wow, you know we've had a I, problem I, with people with guns at presidential events. Mm -hmm. Why'd you bring a gun to right. an event I, with the I, president? I do, I, I do know history, and the, the history is that uh, our forefathers fought for the right to keep and bear armed, and they believe I, that I every person that. should be armed. Everybody knows that. Okay, well then... Well, why it, did you bring the, a gun the, to the a presidential is, event today? That, that's not even a relevant question. The question is, why don't people bear arms these days... Okay, let's anymore. ask. Okay, you brought a sign that said the tree of liberty has to be watered with the blood of tyrants, and you're carrying a goddamn gun uh -huh. at a presidential event. Yeah, I think those that's, things that's make that's people not... wonder what you're about. Right, right. The sign didn't say anything about blood. Uh, of course, what did it say? Uh, the It's time to water the tree of liberty. And where did that come from, uh, that line? A, it's a quote from Thomas Jefferson. And yes. what's the rest of the line? No, the, the, the rest of the line is for people to look up. It's not a sound bite. They need to understand the context. What's in which the it was rest spoken. of the line from Jefferson? Jefferson. The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of tyrants and patriots. Okay, well, you're carrying a gun and you're carrying that sign, and right. you don't think people should worry about you? No, I don't think people should worry about me. Well, let's, let me ask you about the history of people that carry guns to press uh -huh. events. Tell me wow. that history, sir. Are you speaking of a particular event? I'm talking about people who bring guns to presidential okay. events well, in history. Well, tell me tell their you, history. Tell, I'll tell you this, Chris. We just started new history. I was there today. Oh, you started there, new there, history. There was, there was a peaceful, a peaceful okay. rally. No one was injured. Okay. No one on our side was alarmed. People in New Hampshire are used to seeing firearms. No one from New Hampshire right. was alarmed. Maybe some of the people they bust in from Massachusetts were alarmed, but we're not really concerned about them. Well, what are wrong with the people from Massachusetts? Um... You know, they already have their health care scheme and their socialism going in their state. They should probably keep it over there. Now, let me get back to your belief. Do you believe that our fundamental rights as a republic, the limited government, the notions that people are individuals are supreme, you believe all that's at stake here? Yes. How so? Well, it's not like this is, you know, out of the blue and all of a sudden it's at stake. This has been an ongoing process. Okay. This has been an ongoing process since uh, it, it was said, what type of government have you given okay. us, a republic, if you can keep it? People I, have I not been vigilant. You. We're going I'm down, we're going down the you. tubes. I'm with you on the prince. Let me ask you, do you think Roosevelt was wrong to start Social Security? Yes. Was, was Johnson wrong to start Medicare? Yes. Where did we go wrong? 
Um, was Teddy wh- Roosevelt wh- wrong? Where, where, do, where did we go was, wrong? I'd start with the Federal Reserve Bank. Well, well, how about how about was Wilson wrong with what he did in terms of reform? The income tax was the income tax wrong. Uh, the income tax originally, uh, my understanding is, was instituted as a voluntary victory tax. No, and, it was instituted uh, as an amendment to the Constitution, direct taxation. Right. And you were against that, too. Yeah, that, that, was, that was later on. That came later on. Well, it came under Wilson. You think that was wrong? That was part of the loss of our republic. Um, it, w- it would be uh, – there, there are better ways to do things. Okay, yes. so, so we've been on a slippery slope to the loss of our republic, and therefore you brought a gun to a meeting the president held today on health care. Um, n- therefore, mm, I don't know about that. Um, I live in New Hampshire. I open carry many places. As I said, people uh, come up, they talk to you. People here are pretty used okay. to it. Okay, it, I want to be, I want to be polite to you. I, 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 I know, I'm not, I'm, we're not in New York, we're not in Los Angeles. Oh, no, no, it's, it's, my not like, it's not like people hit the deck when you walk past. Look, I have, I have members of my family, members of the NRA, to carry, they don't carry guns, but they believe in the right to bear arms, as many mm-hmm. Americans do. I'm not against that. Right. I'm asking you, what do you bring to this discussion about health care? By well, bringing a gun and that sign that you quote Jefferson from, what does that bring to a debate that this country's engaged in? And we're looking at your gun right now, and you your sidearm there. What did you, and it's loaded, you pointed that out. What are you doing to help this debate? Okay. Well, sometimes when people are mired in their position, uh, you can try to pull them out of it a little bit. But sometimes if you uh, show the the other end of it, uh, you can pull them a little bit in your direction. Clearly, right. I'm not advocating violence. Clearly, no violence took place today. Well, what armed, are you advocating? Well, I'm armed, I'm advocating a, an informed society, an armed society, a polite society. Um, that's all there is to it. Uh, See, John, 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 John Lott has a great study, University of Chicago, more guns, less crime, uh, and people should read it. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming on the show. I think you speak in a different way than most people. I think what the trouble is you alarm many people to believe that when you bring a gun, violence might be afoot because they associate a gun with violence and they associate a gun with force. But you say you're not interested in using force to get your way politically. You say uh, that. Um, for me, a You're not fire- using a, force. A, no, a, fire, a firearm is a defensive tool. So bringing a show of force to a political debate was not meant as a violent act. Not at all. It was meant as a what? What kind of a demonstration was it? Just to get it clear, and I want to let you leave now. It's, it's, it's just another point. Um, if you don't exercise your rights, you will lose them. Do you think if there were a 1,000 people today that they are all armed, that would have been a safer crowd? Absolutely. If everybody had a gun? Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. William Krostick, thank you for coming on Hardball.